Today, we'll be examining some of the craziest Karens and Kevins ever to be filmed. Diving straight in, it must be extremely difficult having to deal with a Karen as a neighbor, especially this one, who won't even allow you to test your car for 30 seconds. Oh. Cry about it, cry about it, please. Cry about it. That's fine. Nothing illegal. Why are we, why are you videoing it though? Like, honestly. Karen's gone wild, man. Calm down. Sorry I interrupted your evening for a split moment. My evening? I'm putting my God, children chill. down and you're ripping down what How about you chill? For like, what reason? What are you trying to prove? Because I'm buying this car. I'm taking it out of here. Yeah, it's hilarious. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll be loading this on the trailer now. Awesome. Oh, good one. Being rude to someone who is clearly helping you put groceries in your car is a bit far. Well, this Karen shows otherwise. While at Walmart grocery pickup, Karen on the prowl. You're welcome. Mind your own you won't be ordering from Walmart pickup no more. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm the right person to say that to. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy picking up your meals from now on. Very rude. Libraries are usually known for being silent, except in this video, it has this Kevin who decides to yell. I checked on the floor. What have you? My goddamn Oh my! Hey! You don't get to make fifteen goddamn dollars for it. We will take your. Kevins really believe that they're above everyone else. Well, this next Kevin was not expecting to be ignored after being rude to some workers. Hey, so does that mean you asked for a supervisor for me? Yes, we asked for a supervisor, ladies and gentlemen, and they're on their way. I called them 10 minutes ago, why, and they're on like their this? way. So they'll be here shortly. Why are you like the this, The gentleman man? is in 29, row 29, all the way across with his kids, and he had one seat in 38. And I told him I wasn't well, able to accommodate his wait. seat because we, the wait. flight is completely booked, ladies and gentlemen. Can't it's completely you. booked. And Very sarcastic. all Very his nice. kids are in row 29, and there's only one person in 38. Thank you. We're going to continue to put in process with row 1. Cameras are everywhere these days, especially at beaches. However, this Karen thinks she has the authority to tell people they're not allowed. What are you, why are you recording me? Is That's creepy. Would you like to purchase this bike? I'll sell it to you for $50. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to put me? Because I don't appreciate it. No, 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 that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Take that off of it. Hey, call the police. Call the police. Why? Why are you touching this? Can't touch it. If I went up to you and I grabbed your purse, I was like, oh, I'm not taking anything. Would you appreciate that? Would I'm you not that? taking anything. That wasn't my question. That wasn't my question. Okay, he's being a public nuisance. I don't care. You are too. Walk away. You really want to stand here and fight about this? He's being more of the public nuisance. You, you are. You came up to him. He's doing his. 
He's doing what he wants no, to do, but walk away. Why are you around recording me? Because <laughs> you're giving him attention. This is how he's going to profit about you standing here making a big old scene, standing in front of the Huntington Beach Pier. Okay, okay, so. Wait, 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 this, is, understand. this is the big news. There's a random person walking around, and there's yeah, a young man who's following her, and I'm the one freaking out yeah. because you're being an annoying young man. Welcome, welcome to This is the Regular World. Are you really trying to sell your bike? Is there any part of you who's trying to be an annoying young man? I'm going to say this. I'm not here to disturb anybody. I'm, that's the last thing I'd want to do. I hope you have a totally great evening. Okay. Can I just ask you please to stop recording me? Or following me around? I, w I hadn't done anything to you. I was just walking here. I was I had not touched his property. I was standing over there with my friends. Why are you lying? You had I your hand had, on it. Excuse me, let me finish. Got on my face. Got on my face. I had gone over there first, and I was simply looking at the view with my friends, and someone says, that guy's over there. Oh, he's over there recording. So she wasn't bothering you in the first place? I had not been bothering you at all. I had not done anything to you. You followed me over there and started recording me for some reason. That doesn't make sense to me. Karens always believe that everyone has to revolve around them. However, when this Karen finds her stroller being moved so others can fit, she gets super mad. Hi, Sean. There's not a sign. There's not a sign. Don't touch my stroller. I don't care if there's a sign. Show me the sign, Sean. Let's go over there right now. Show me the sign. I'm here to move my stroller. Don't touch my stroller. It doesn't matter. You don't make me drive the little ball over there. Up next, this Karen learned not to mess with the wrong hairdresser. She's going to do exactly like I do. Uh, Robin, you need to be more trusting. No. But it's me. I would never do anything to make you uncomfortable. I'm not wanting want to well, you're supposed to be what's the Oh, no, I'm on this. No, I'm in this room. I'm the boss here, Robin. <laughs> I'm not paying her. <laughs> nope, but I pay her. So she does what I say. And oh, come on, Sharon. You want to leave? You want to leave? I will, if you don't do my hair. You have half your color on. You want to talk to me like that? Yeah. Robin. Sure. Mm -hmm. Robin, she's my assistant. She got hair. I want you to do my hair. Robin, I'm going to tell you again. Robin, don't talk to me that way. You can go. No, you're not going to talk to me that way. Oh, my God. Robin, you know me. 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 You know Take a Robin, you can't talk to people like that and think that people are just going to, like, do whatever you say. I came to pick my hair. I know, and I am running a full-blown business, and I'm training oh, her. Come and on, she, sure. Wait, wait, really? Honestly, Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and, like, get to the resolution of this, you can leave with half your color on. Are you going to me? Robin, get the f*** out. Robin, get out. And do not cause a scene in my business. You just almost went to hit me, and you know what? Oh, it's on camera. Robin, you did it? Oh, get out. Okay, let me get this oh one. Oh, my God. Ew, Robin, that was disgusting. You just made me waste product. Oh, oh my God, you're going to let me go out. You want to get a shirt for my hair. Look how you just spoke to me, and, like, she just saw that. Why can't you my hair? Robin, I'm just having... I apologize. I'm having a lot of stress in oh, my Robin. life. Robin, that was a lot, Robin. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Robin. Please? Please? No, Robin. Please? Robin, that please? was, like... Come on, Robin. I need Please. you to go. We're going to have to reschedule. Oh, my I'm sorry. God. That, like, I can't you want me shaking. Like, I've never had someone do that to oh, me. Oh, I can't go with my hair. But you should think about that before you are disrespectful. Uh -huh. That was, like, wild, Robin. I like, just, I've never I had that. Want... Okay, fine. I no, Robin, want... let's just deal with this later. Like, I just need you to go. Like, that was oh super my disrespectful. God. <laughs> Like, I can't even believe you should oh like that. God. Like, I really took care of you when no one in the other salon wanted to do your hair. I wanted to do your hair, and we created a bond. And you just so how do I get this out? Can you just go home and wash it? 
Robin, you can't disrespect people and expect people to do services for you. This is a service. It's not like the bank. You know what I mean? Like, I understand your situation with the bank, but you can't come in here in my business and make I it like... I have a lot of pressure I'm, from my daughter. You know, I have a lot of pressure, too. I mean, we all have pressure. I know, Let's just I end this. Here, Robin. Honestly, I oh appreciate you. God. Like, I'm wasting so much product, and, like, I don't want you to waste your time, but that was a lot. Like, I'm going to need you to go. Okay. <laughs> Running into a Karen like this in public must be extremely stressful. You don't know how to drive. You're ugly. Oh, God. Ooh. This is going right to the leasing office. What? This is going. Now we bring you this Karen who goes on a racist rant to a group of ladies. Take a look. Why? Oh, these. Indians. They come to America yes. because they want a better life. Yes. But they're obviously not living the great life in India. Who are the you ones this is? Why do you make you comments like that? You come from our country and you want You just said you're free. Mexican. How, how does that make sense? I'm a Mexican-American. I was born what here. What makes you think that we are not Were Americans? You born here? What you born makes here? you think that because we are Because of the way you speak. Because I'm, I'm a Mexican-American, but, but I speak to you. English. The photo you are the one who came and talked to me. I'm she talking with my friends. Like everywhere I go, you Indians are everywhere. If life was so great in India, why the f are y'all here? Turn your camera off. I'm happy to talk. Turn it off. No, why should I turn it off? You are the one who came and talked to me. I'm Mexican. Her racial slurs don't stop there. I didn't even talk to you. I did not talk to you. Do not turn the camera off. Go back to your car. I am. Go back to your car. Do go back to your car. Turn the camera off. Go back to your car. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me to do what to do. Turn the phone off. Are you shut up? Just shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Fast food workers have to deal with some pretty crazy Karens and Kevins, like this next Kevin. The dollar store is not a big company with heaps of workers, but this Karen was furious when she apparently was waiting ages to be served. feels exactly the same way. I had surgery two weeks ago. This is my first trip out. This manager uh -oh, uh -oh. should never have taken on these people. Ever. With only one employee working in here. Ever. Oh, I'm not going to calm down. You people need to grow up. Is this why you work at the dollar store? Damn. Jesus Christ. No, I'm not going to knock it off. You know how long I've been waiting in here? Don't worry. Oh, How is everybody else? You don't have to be rude. Oh, I am going to be rude. What? Just shut up already. Because somebody needs to realize what that she uh -oh. did was wrong. She needs to know what she did was wrong. You don't like it. You should kick her out. Unbelievable. Until somebody else comes on, and then we'll do it. But she did not do that. That's what real managers do. She couldn't think past her nose. I don't 
Moving forward, we have a Karen who still believes she hasn't done anything wrong, even though the police are involved. Behavior is very erratic. Oh, is it? And Jamie, every time I just try to have a normal conversation with you, it just goes right to insults. Um, is that against the law? Is it oh, is against the law to insult a man in blue? Do you understand how it's not a normal conversation? Uh, you guys get called yeah. all the time. And why we're concerned? And you get, and you take down the blacks, and you get video. That's false. Good day, Jamie. We're leaving. I want him arrested we're, we're, for physical assault, you we're, we're face. Not, we're not taking a report to you, Jamie. Especially when you're going to scream like that. Have a good day. Moving forward, we have this Kevin who was caught by hikers vandalizing. <laughs> That's a really bad thing to do. Are you kidding me? Dude, it, Look it's at compact. every inch of this wall. It's like throwing a tire into the river. It's, it's like compound. throwing a tire. Do you understand this is sandstone? In like 40 years, it'll be gone because I'm not even going that deep. 40 years. We are local. Have you ever been to Rock House? We've been everywhere. 1881, 1857, all the way to present so day. So you just said 40 years. Thousands of people come gone. from all over the place. Can't. Carving well, the sandstone. That's okay. We know the ranger. He's down here, Tim Archer. Okay. So. What's your name, sir? Sounds good. None of your business. Thank you. And I appreciate you not talking to me anymore. Thank well, you. Move I'll on. stand here and you're talk here. because if I'm free to be here, here, you are too. To listen, it's very Thank shameful you. that you're doing that and you know you're teaching youth to do so. Oh, my goodness. This is a government. Oh. Yeah. Why is it a problem to carve your name on a when there's literally the entire That's all place. a problem. That's why, why is it all so a So you've never done it before? No. no. Oh, and you would never do it in your life? No. Okay. If well, it was my listen, property. Obviously, you guys are way better than me, and I would like it if you just, you know, kind of make no, a point. No, we've done wrong. bad things and that we've learned from, and people have maybe rebuked, rebuked us, arrested, and we stopped. We go out of time. Why would you <laughs> be arrested for carving your name on something? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you be arrested for defacing the park? We're not spray painting anything. We've been to lots of other state parks and people do it every year. Okay, well, they're not caught. Okay, but nobody's spray painting, nobody's leaving garbage, nobody's doing anything. In fact, we actually so. take garbage out with us. Every That's good. Time we I'm come glad in. to hear that. Okay, so, and if we want to enjoy our family trip alone. by leaving a mark this behind, is then we can come back and actually, see over and over. Take a picture. Have you ever heard yeah. the thing, leave no mark, leave no trace? Leave no trace means no garbage. And then you take in more than you carry, you take out more than you carry in. That means you no have, garbage. Yeah, says, this Karen was not impressed with the reaction this guy gave her after her freakout. Imagine having a peaceful nap in your car by the beach, but you get interrupted by a Karen. Oh man. Yeah. You don't have a right to, whether it's public or not, you don't have a right to. So, all due respect, whatever this guy is reporting is not, does not have my permission, is true, and is violating my personal American right. Ooh, boy. Yeah, let that be. Oh, no. She is safe. Just here protecting all our property. Yep. I was, so you got here. Yeah. I need to 
She's going to want you to keep people accountable. Keeping you accountable. Get the out of my face. No, because you've proven yourself that you're kind of psychotic, so. I'm not psychotic, but I don't know who you are and why you're. She still believes she has done nothing wrong. Get away from me. No, this is just being recorded on my phone. Get my plate. It's right there. Because I haven't done anything illegal, you've yeah, been approaching me like a crazy banshee. No. Go away now. You know what? Don't do drugs, kids. That's my cone, lady. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. This is not van life, by the way. This is not van life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get sober. Get sober, brush your teeth. Uh, I am sober. <laughs> Keeping people accountable for their shady behavior. I know. You can hate me. I don't care. I don't hate you. Oh, you hate me. I never said I hate you. I just don't know what you did. I don't know. You Get help, know lady. There's help out there for you. Help? I'm sorry. No, no. More observation. Watch out for her. She's. Be careful of her. Be careful. I don't know how. If she's. She should be driving. I don't know if she should be driving. Stay. Stay safe. <laughs> stay away from her. I don't know if she should be driving. You're driving and you're cursing everybody out. That family that over there, you were cursing them out for no reason. Right. That's why you're cursing people out and, and driving through here like a crazy person. You were breaking the speed limit and putting people's lives at danger. Go away. You're not welcome here. People are not safe with people like you around. This is not van life. Go for it. <laughs> This is not van life, guys. Letting you know, this is, this might be like an eyesore, but I don't act like that. I don't treat people like dirt. Managers must be so used to being called by Karens, so it's no surprise to them when they have to deal with someone like this. I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed he to. I saw him push you out the You deserve a pretty fair mistake. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. You f off. Not helping. Not helping. Excuse me? I want the manager on the airport here. Having a bad day doesn't give you authority to say racial and sexist remarks to workers and customers. But for this Kevin, he didn't care. Wearing a $30,000 ring. Think I have time for these jokers? Trying to mail a $5 package. And I employ you with my tax dollars. Pay county taxes. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I'm not going to pay for a free label. Hey, what's Hi. up? How are you? I'm good. You helped me with my wife. Good they to did. see you again. What's going on? You want to talk to they me? They won't mail. No, they won't mail this. I'm going to stand here. I'm a taxpayer. I want this mail. It's okay. free. Okay, can we go to No, the you. I'm going to mail it. Why are you mad at me, though? I pay federal tax dollars. I'm a county employee of okay. Fairfax. Number two, okay. I employ you and I employ her. This is federal property. She is not the postmaster. Why are you She's yelling, a Why are you yelling at me, though? I want to my package. Okay. Can I talk it costs five dollars. I will not. I'm, I will stand here. I'm, I'm, call your superior. I'm going to talk to her about what's going on. You don't you're not going to let me mail this? You 
It's free. Enough, 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 enough. Were you gonna tase me? No, right now I'm talking to her about what's going on and you yelling at me isn't helping me get to this issue any faster. I need to deal with both of you. You help me with my wife.